Hey Sagittarius, I hope you guys are all really well and enjoying spring. <laughs> I love spring. Um, so this is going to be a general love reading for mid-April 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can book a personal reading if you would like and all that information is in the description box or you can just check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs. I am also now offering cord cutting sessions um, at a discounted price for a limited time. So just feel free to email me if you are interested in one of those. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what is going on with you mid-April to the end of April. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, so starting off your reading, we have the Magician crossed by the Five of Cups. Okay, so it's like you're trying to manifest something here. Um, you're trying to bring something into fruition. I feel like, you know, you're capable of more than what you are actually doing at the moment. If this is you, this could be another person. And the block here is a sense of grief, um, a sense of loss, and possibly, you know, holding on to the past or just seeing things in a very pessimistic way. And I feel like that is just blocking the manifestation process here, either for you or for the other person. Um, there's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of sadness here. Let's see. For your energy, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Sorry, the Queen of Wands. It's the Queen, not the Page. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Alright, so that's you, just being in your power here, standing in your own energy. So, there's something here that you're trying to figure out. Um, you're trying to figure out something, and it's like at the same time you're waiting, and it has to do with commitment with this with a particular person here um, possibly trying to see if you know if this is going to come together possibly even thinking about a marriage if that's possible um, we'll see we'll see when we clarify for them we have the six of pentacles the nine of wands and the page of pentacles So there's something here with this person and how much they are actually able to contribute to this. So I'm still trying to figure out where this Five of Cups is actually fitting in, but it'll probably clear up when we clarify. Um, it, I feel like this person is possibly um, like sharing their energy, sharing their energy in more than one situation doesn't have to be a, another relationship, although of course it could be. Um, but I feel like they're not able to give much to you, right? Because we have this page of pentacles here because there's, they're also giving their energy somewhere else. And it's like, because of that, you know, it's, it's, it's getting very tiring for them actually to be giving energy here and there. And so what ends up happening is that they're not able to give much to any, to any of this. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this unfolds. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Four of Cups. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like, you know, somebody's going to feel here like there was a missed opportunity, um, feeling like they're settling in something. And I do, because you have this, this Page of Wands as your last card, I feel like this is actually what this person, the other person is going to be feeling. Like they're just settling in a situation where they're not able to give and take equally as much as they would want to because they're also giving that energy to something else here. Um, let's see. Let's clarify the Magician with the Five of Cups. Six of Swords. The Magician again, and the Eight of Cups. All right, some of you might be dealing with an Aries. Um, 
Yeah, and I feel like the fire signs just overall seem to have like a like a common theme to them, common feeling to them. So, <clears throat> okay, so that's what it is. Somebody's trying to move away from a situation here. Someone's trying to disconnect, emotionally detach from a situation. Someone's really trying to, okay, that's what, yeah, they're trying to manifest a loss, but it's very painful. It's a very painful loss. And there's a lot of pessimism attached to that, like pretty much just seeing the glass half empty, like what is it that I'm going to lose? And I feel like it has to do with choosing where to give their energy, like to give more of their energy so that it can be that equal give and take rather than having to, you know, split their energy in the middle and give also to something else. So this person is definitely trying to manifest this detachment from a particular situation. It's just creating a lot of grief. Um, it's very difficult for this person to just leave whatever that is in the past. Um, I do feel like they're doing it though. They're doing it, but they're just doing it in a very, very painful way. I feel like they're creating more pain for themselves than necessary, but yeah, that's what it is. Let's see your energy here. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles. Of course, roles can be reversed. Yeah, Justice and the Six of Wands. Yeah, very similar energy. I think it was Aries that was getting Justice um, a lot. So Libra energy, number one, showing up. Some of you might have strong Libra in your charts or you might be dealing with the Libra. Um, you know what it feels like? It feels like, you know, you've been waiting for a decision to happen. You've been waiting for someone to make the right decision concerning, concerning a commitment. Um, I feel like you have actually been putting in a lot of effort as well to possibly assist in this decision. Um, and I don't know, I mean, some of you might feel like you're not really being acknowledged for what it is that you have been able to provide or the effort that you have put into this. It's like you were also choosing choosing to wait at the same time while also giving energy to this. And I feel like, you know, on the other hand, you were very optimistic and you've been optimistic about there being some kind of a victory here, or there being success here. Let's see the Four of Wands, the Ten of Wands and the Lovers. All right, Gemini showing up as well. I'm getting it's like, you know, whatever it is that this person has been going through, I feel like you've like literally almost been going through it with them. Like you've taken on their energy, their pain, their struggle, their, you know, whatever concerning this. So it's been very taxing on you as well. Um, but I feel like you're, you're almost at this place where you just want this like heaviness, this burden, this just whole thing to just, you know, finally be done with, finally for there to be some decision or finally for there to be some kind of a resolution here in terms of commitment because it's just like, it's carried on for so long. All right, with that 10 of wands, like it's just been really, really heavy on you. But I feel like it's like you're letting that go. Let's see the Queen of Wands, because that's really positive here. We have the High Priestess and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you know, it's like, even though this has been really difficult for you, as I said, I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to feel like you like uh, carried this burden with this person um, because I feel like you were just so involved with what was going on with them. It's like now, I feel like you're kind of taking a step back or at least that's what you're moving towards. You're moving towards taking, taking a step back and just really tapping into your own energy, focusing on your own self. And if anything, I feel like, you know, you're, um, whereas you may have been more, how do I say this, like more diplomatic before, or, you know, just really wanting to be fair, really wanting to understand the other person's side of things. 
um, which is good. I'm not saying you're not doing that now, but it's like now you're just more like, you know what? Like, I'm going to speak my truth or I'm going to live my truth or, you know, like it, there, there's some kind of a shift here that I'm picking up on where you're more in tune with yourself and as a result of that, you're feeling like, you know, your truth and your authenticity is different than what the energy that you were in before. And so this is really empowering you. All right, let's see for this other person here. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups, the Devil. Oh, why do I feel like I need to get one more? I usually just get two, but yeah, we were asked to get three here. Okay, so Ace of Cups, the Devil, and the Nine of Swords. Hmm, okay, see, so this person, yeah, they're trying to balance here, right? Six of Pentacles, they're trying to balance between two different energies. One of them is the Ace of Cups, right? Which I feel is the connection that they have with you. And then the other one is the Devil, an attachment, a fear. Something that is toxic, something that is not healthy for them, all right? This is also Capricorn energy, by the way. So because they're giving to these two different energies, right? It's like, and even if you're not in contact, they're still giving energy to you, to their Ace of Cups, even if it's just energetically or in their headspace. Okay, they're giving energy both to that Ace of Cups and both to this Devil's energy. And that's not to say that if there's another person involved here, that that person is like the Devil or evil or anything like that. It's just that it's a situation that is not healthy for them. And so because of that, because they're giving their... Um, distributing their energy to these two different energies here. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of pain. A lot of sleepless nights. Let's see the Nine of Wands. Two of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, see, there it is. It's showing up again, trying to find that balance here between two different energies. Um, like, they feel like they're just juggling a lot, right? And it has to do with love, the Two of Cups. And it's getting exhausting for them as well. It's really exhausting for them. It's like they're at the end of their limit. Like, how much can they take? How For how much longer can they actually juggle these two different energies or elements in their life? Whatever that other situation is. Again, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be work. It could be just, it could be a relative. It could be anything. So yeah, it's getting to the point where they're just, you know, they're about to lose their balance, basically. Not able to handle this anymore. <clears throat> Let's see the Page of Pentacles. The Hanged Man and the Page of Swords. So two pages here. Um, they're, they're moving towards this energy of, again, just not being able to give much to either because I feel like, I feel like there's going to be some kind of a burnout for them. That's what they're moving towards. They're moving towards some kind of a burnout and it's just, it's going to force them to actually take a step back from the whole situation and to see it from a different perspective, to actually see and explore where it is that they want to give. Where are they going to give their pentacle? So they are learning through this. They're learning through this process. It's like trying to handle both energies here um, until they reach that burnout and realize that, you know, it's, they just cannot go on. They cannot continue in this manner. I feel like for some of you, there's also going to be communication here. Um, if you're not in communication because of the two pages. Um, but again, I feel like that communication, it might feel a little bit standoffish. But it's there. So let's see the Four of Cups. The King of Swords, the Fool, and the Four of Swords. 
Okay, so yeah, it's like this person is reaching this point where, sorry, you can't even see the cards there. Um, they're reaching this point where, you know, they're going to feel this discontentment. They're going to feel like really they don't have anything. Because trying to have too much, you know, sometimes can result in not having anything. So I feel like that's that's what they're moving towards, but there's going to be a lot of a lot of thinking about that, a lot of um, understanding that, analyzing that, being forced to really think about why am I so unhappy here, right? And that's going to be something new. That's going to push them towards thinking in a different way. And I feel like this is all coming from that hanged man here, all right? Ultimately leading to some kind of healing for this person having to heal because like I said in the very beginning right we have this five of cups there's a lot of pain there's a lot of grief a lot of sadness attached to them moving away from one of these energies right which is the other one um, there's going to be healing and more trust more trust in a new path even if it feels unknown and again that's going to come um, after they feel this discontentment feeling like they're just settling for something that is less than what they deserve, right? Because it's that devil's energy. It's something unhealthy, whereas they could have this Ace of Cups. So it does feel like, I mean, this is a temporary outcome here, right? This isn't the forever. This is just for this short um, time period here, that Four of Cups, but that's where they need to get to. All right, so Saji, if this resonated, the final message we have for you here is vast vistas, expand your horizons. And I do feel like you are doing that now, right? You're standing in your power, you are expanding your horizons, but I also feel like this is also what this person is moving towards, expanding their own horizons rather than staying stuck in some kind of an attachment here, some kind of a toxic situation, thinking about things in a different way. So. Those are your messages, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching and much love.